This video brought to you by The Skirted Heifer, located in downtown Colorado Springs. Mitch, are you ready to start an assault today? What's up, Dave? How you doing? What's going on, man? What's up? We, we don't have time for that saw today. We don't. Remember that idea I told you about? Yes. Let's buy a new domain, get started. And what's the domain? Because I need to know. Let me show you okay. how to build a website. Cool. Come on, man. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a domain name. Let's decide on what to call our website. Um, it could be your name, it could be your business name, but a lot of folks will get their business name and, and, and you want to be a little more strategic to try to get people to come to your website naturally. So you may want to think in broader terms. So for me, you know, I had logfurniturehowto.com because I wanted to make log furniture and wanted to show other people how we were making it. And I thought, well, that's the best way to get people to come to my website. We'll show them how to make it, and then maybe some of those people will want to buy some log furniture. Uh, and one of the first things you're really going to want to do once you've decided on a domain name, uh, because that's that's your house, that's your domain, that's your where you want people to come, you're going to want to use social media to get people to come there. You know, Facebook, Twitter, of course, YouTube, which is actually linked right to Google+. Plus. So people don't know it, but Google+, Plus and YouTube, well, between Google and YouTube, it's the two best, highest search engines in the world. So it's really where you want to be. Uh, so after you've picked your doma domain name, you want to get your social media set up in the exact same name. So you want to make sure that there's continuity across all those things. So people find you on the social media sites and then they end up right there at your domain. So I go to GoDaddy to buy my domains from there, before I buy them, I make sure they're available there. Then we jump into Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, make sure we can line them all up, and then you're set to go. All right, looks like we got a green light on that domain. We know the social medias are gonna line up. Next thing, we gotta pick a platform to put our domain, to build the website. We've got, we've got several options on this. We've got uh, sites like GoDaddy that offer packages that really help you walk you walk your way right through it it's pretty simple but it's somewhat limiting you've got other companies like shopify.com that you can build a website on and link it directly to your Facebook account to be able to sell products right there off your Facebook it's great for artists and individual small business guys like myself um, another option is to work with an individual to help build your site um, and I've got a friend of mine who helped build Colorado Springs sawmill.com at ontopinternetmarketing.com. So let's give Derek a call, see if he's available. If not, we'll probably use this site builder right here on GoDaddy. Let's check this out. <laughs> all right, looks like we'll do this one ourselves, Dave. And that's really all there is to building a new website. You pick a domain name, make sure it's available. You match it up and make sure it's available at all your social media outlets. Then you pick a platform to build the website on. It's time to get to work. And that's what I gotta do right now. Thanks for bringing those tools. Maybe we'll get back to that mill next week. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, thanks for watching. Now, Alex and I are gonna be taking the next couple of weeks off to work on a new secret project. If you wanna find out what that is, click subscribe now, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. See you then.